Thank you. How is everyone today? Well, that's excellent. We've got a lot of exciting stuff to look forward to. Welcome to McNeil Elementary School. My name is Abigail Sadowski, and I will be your MC. Please stand for the singing of O Canada, which will be played by Mrs. Goodright. Thank you. Please be seated. Would you please give a warm welcome to our school's vice principal, Mrs. Kathy McGilvery. Books. Books have the power to educate us, entertain us, and allow us to communicate over vast periods of time. Books are pages filled with words, but it is the author of the books that hold the true power. Authors bring us on a journey of discovery. Whether they are teaching us about the past, a life lesson, or creating a whole new world, it is the author that opens up the realm of possibilities for the leader and readers. From the day we discover our first story, we are transported into a different world. Authors have the ability to pull us into personal lives and thoughts of characters who we inhibit through the pages of the book. As a young girl, yes students, I know it was 100 years ago that I was a young girl, I remember reading an author by the name of Judy Bloom. Her characters were like friends to me. They seemed to have something in common and the same problems that I had. And it helped me to know what to do and to navigate through life. And let me never be alone. It is my great pleasure to bring greetings today on behalf of McNeil School. We are very glad to be hosting the 2016 Sask Energy Willow Awards Gala. I would like to acknowledge the tremendous work that Jolie Brewer and her Willow Awards ambassadors have done in organizing and creating this event. I would also like to welcome our staff, students, and special guests that have joined us today for the exciting event. I would like to acknowledge and thank Elder Betty McKenna, Councillor Barbara Young, Mrs. Morgan Reed, our superintendent, Darren Bolt, our deputy director of student services, and all the other special guests who are able to come today. And finally, our authors in attendance today, Rona Arato and Allison Lohans. Thank you so very much for sharing your books with the students today. It will truly inspire our students to realize the possibilities of becoming authors themselves. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Mrs. McGilvery. We welcome Elder Betty McKenna to the podium. Thank you. What beautiful faces. Wow. This is my first time for this school. It's beautiful. I would like to just give you a little bit of history about Willows. I love the name Willow Award. It's for First Nation people, which is what I am. Willows have such a great significance for us because if it wasn't for Willows, we would never have our stories, our sacred stories had to be told in a very special place. And of course, willows was the thing that gave us that special place. So whenever you see willows, you know that you're gonna find water. And willows and water are an important part of bringing forward those sacred stories of our, my people. Because with willows, we would start with one, then two, and four, six, and eight, until we had 40 willows and we build a sweat lodge and in that sweat lodge a person would go in and each person would listen to a sacred story that someone told and the first time we would ever tell that sacred story would be in a sweat lodge so therefore willows have a very very significant thing for my people and when I think of the willow awards I think of the books that these willow awards represent like the willows, you start a book with one word. That one word can grow into a sentence. That sentence can grow into a paragraph. That paragraph into a chapter. That chapter into books. Just like we built that spot lodge with two, four, six, eight, up until we had 40 willows and the people could tell their stories. Well, someone will build that book out of a, a word, a sentence, a paragraph, a chapter. And that book then can be enjoyed by so many. So that's the significance for me of thinking these Willow Awards have a big significance for my people. And I thank you all for inviting me here today to be a part of your life and see these uh, awards that are being given out. And I would just like to Thank you and start today and be rich to all of you. Thank you. On behalf of our school, Victoria will now present Elder Betty with a gift. brings greetings on behalf of the city of Regina. Thank you. Good afternoon, Elder Betty and special guests. And good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm really pleased to be here to join you today on behalf of Mayor Michael Fougere and the other city councillors to be part of the celebration of the Sask Energy Willow Awards. Some people are even have even traveled here from across Canada. So for those of you who are new to our city, welcome to the city of Regina. And I'd like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 4 land here. Students, you've done a wonderful job of reading and choosing your favorite books and you've picked some really interesting books for this award. How many of you read all the books and were able to put up ballots in to vote? Put your hand up. Wow. Wonderful. Congratulations. 
Thousands of students across Saskatchewan have joined you to read the books in each category and vote for their favorites. Two of the authors whose books were chosen are with us today, and this is a prestigious award for authors since their books were chosen by young readers who are their audience, and they love children and love to write for children, so that's the best reward of all. To the authors, your books have opened up worlds of imagination to your readers, encouraged them to love reading, and appreciate the writing of books. You are role models, and very important for furthering children's literacy. Most of all, to enjoy reading a book. I look, for, I look forward to hearing from you today. This is the first time the Willow Awards have been held in Regina for 12 years. So congratulations to McNeil School for being chosen as the host for the Sask Energy Willow Awards. <laughs> Reading is something we all enjoy, to get information, to discover new people, new places, new ideas, and sometimes history and to just enjoy the imaginative stories written by Canadian and Saskatchewan authors. For the last, I think, 14 years, the Saskatchewan Young Readers' Choice has promoted the love of reading through Will Awards to instill excitement for reading in our children and give teachers another way to extend children's love of reading. We thank you for your contribution to our children's love of learning. And thank you to the teachers and parents and everyone who supported the work that goes into reading the books and to the awards. Then thank you to Sask Energy for helping to make these awards possible. Have a great day. Energy, and I'm not sure if you know what that company is. Some of you younger students might not know. In the winter time, do you like to stay warm in your house? Yeah. So we're the company that makes sure you stay warm in your house. We provide all the energy that helps keep your house warm. Just so you know who we are. So um, thank you again for the invitation to be here today. And it's really nice to be here with the other special guests today, and parents, and teachers, and all of you boys and girls. Um, and to celebrate the Willow Awards, this is such a big deal. We have sponsored this event since the very beginning. And I think, is it 14 years, 13 years? I can't remember. It's a lot of years anyway. And it is really special for it to already be back in Regina. And you know, books are really important. I think some of you are probably using Facebook, you're looking on YouTube, or watching videos, playing games on computers. How many of you watch TV? Yeah, everybody. But you know what? There's really something very, very special about a book, where you hold the book and you turn the pages one by one. And so that's what we're here to do today, is to celebrate reading and reading those books one page at a time. 
And before I go on with the rest of my notes, I just want to tell you a little secret. And your parents might not be happy that I tell you this, but I, I am going to tell you. For those of you who love to read, I know bedtime can come very soon. So I was one of those people, and one of my favorite uh, books to read, I loved mysteries. So I read all the Nancy Drew books, all the Hardy Boys, and you know now I'm sure there's lots of other series like that. But I liked reading so much that at night time when my mom said it is bedtime, like I'm not telling you again, I would turn the hall light on and I would crawl in under my bed so that my head would poke out at the end of the covers with a flashlight so that I could read or use the hall light to read. So, you know, there's ways, there's ways that you can keep reading past bedtime. Just so you know. So how many of you have found a book that you liked reading so much you just couldn't put it down? Yeah. I, I, I am so excited to see that many hands up. So we all love to read. You know, reading makes it possible to learn new and important things about sports or outer space or hobbies or pets, cooking or music or whatever interests you, there's a book out there. You can even read about the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. We can use our imagination to go on exciting adventures or travel around the world, solve mysteries or win races. Reading makes us smarter and it helps us do our homework. It helps us get good marks in school. Looking at the list of books that you had to choose from to or to decide from to choose your favorite author, I, I don't know how you did it. You had such great books to choose from, and I bet you found your new favorite book out of the ten that you had to read. It's really an honor for Sask Energy to champion reading in Saskatchewan schools. And yes, it does say 14 years here, I just forgot. So I'd like to take this opportunity to Congratulate the authors that are here and all the authors who write the children's books. Let's give them a hand. I would also really like to thank all the volunteers, the teachers and parents and whoever helped put this on at your school today. We are very grateful. Um, so congratulations, yes, let's give them a thank you. Okay. And finally, thank you to all the students who cast your ballots for your favorite votes. In the first year, I seem to recall it was somewhere around 5,000 students that did that from all over the province, and I'm sure they're getting close to about 20,000 if not more by now. So you should be very proud of yourselves, and I know that those authors feel really warm and fuzzy inside that you're reading their books. So thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Councillor Young. Oops. Thank you, Ms. Goslin. The McNeil Choir will now sing a very entertaining song, appropriately called Books. Please notice that many Willow nominated books are being used in the choreography. Help me now welcome the McNeil Choir, accompanied by Colladon Brooks and conducted by Sharon Goodright.
Thanks for that fantastic song. I will now have Raylene and Jessica come up to the podium to introduce the finalists for the Shining Willow Award. The finalists for Shining Willow Award are Dip Netting with Dad by Willie Sellers, Fox and Squirrel by Ruth Ohi, Hannah Hashimoto, Sixth Violin by Ch Cherry Uwagaki, The Highest Number in the World by Roy McGregor, If Kids Ruled the World by Linda Bailey, Jasper John Not in Love by Caroline Anderson, Leaving Mr. Humphreys by Allison Lohans, The Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires, My Name is Blessing by Eric Walters, The Worm by Elise Gravel. Wait, I have to leave it up here. Thank you, Raylene and Jessica. If you'll direct your attention to the screen, you will see some of the artwork that our kindergarten to grade three students have created in response to the Shining Willow finalists. And now we'll have Alex and Jasmine announce the winner of the Shining Willow Award. Thank you from the bottom of my heart 
Great thanks for selecting my book, Rule of Three, your favorite book. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to come out to this. Of course, you know there's a book two. There is a book three, Will to Survive. And I want to tell you all a little secret. Don't tell anybody. There's going to be a fourth book in the trilogy. I know that makes no sense. It's called Fourth Dimension. There, you're the first ones to have a look at it. Again, great thanks for selecting me. Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Ann Atchison, and I'm one of the board members of Circa the Willow Awards. And this morning, uh, when I checked my emails, what was there but an email from Linda Bailey, again reiterating how sorry she is that she couldn't be here with us today, and wishing us a great gala, and again thanking all the young people for all their work in reading the books, and thanking them for, a nom um, for giving her book the most votes so that it's the winner. So thank you very much. Congratulations. Our Diamond Willow Award finalists will be introduced by Treasurer and Isabella. The finalists for the Diamond Willow Awards are Curse of the Dream Witch by Alan Stratton, the Great Bike Rescue by Hazel Hutchins, The Hidden Agenda of Sigrun Sajidin by Jill McLean, The Last Train of Holocaust Story by Juana Arato, The Metro Dogs of Moscow by Rochelle Delaney. The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier, Seconds by Sylvia Takima, The Spotted Dog Last Seen by Jessica Scott Karen. The Swallow, A Ghost Story by Karen Cotter. Zubots, Wild Robots Inspired by Real Animals by Aileen Becker. Again, please take a look at the screen to see our student responses to the finalists. Here are Grayson and Paige to announce the winner of the Diamond Willow Award. The Diamond Blue Award winner is... The 
the last train of Holocaust stories by Bernard Arado. Amazing. First of all, I want to thank everybody involved in the Willow Awards. What a wonderful program you've put together. You know, I was recently visiting in California and telling people about the amazing reading programs we have here in Canada, and they were all so jealous. These are teachers I was talking to saying they don't have anything like this, and they wish they did. You've done a wonderful job. So thank you for putting together this program. And to all the students who read not just my book, but all these books, you guys are amazing. I loved to read when I was a kid, and I read and read and read, and that's when I decided I also wanted to be a writer. And to win for any book would be wonderful. But those of you who've read The Last Train and have heard my presentation know that this was a very special book for me. So to win this award for this book makes it absolutely just perfect. So thank you very, very much. Congratulations. We'd like to call it Madison and Katie to introduce us the finalists for the Snow Willow Award. The finalists for the Snow Willow Awards are the Art of Getting Started by Laura Langston, Below by Jason Chabot, The Boundless by Kenneth Oppel, Moon at Nine by Deborah Elise, Rocket Blues by David Skye, The Rule of Three by Eric Walters, To This Day by Shane Koizan, Truths I Learned from Sand by Kristen Butcher, Unspeakable by Caroline Pignat, a Year in the Life of a Total and Complete Genius by Stacey Madsen. Again, on the screen is our artwork and responses to the finalists. We will now have Abigail and Sarah come up to announce the winner of the Snow Willow Award. The Snow Willow Award winner is the Rule of Three by Eric Walters.
great thanks for selecting my book, Rule of Three, your favorite book. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to come out to accept the award. I had a previous engagement I couldn't get out of. I love Saskatchewan. I would have loved to have been there. Um, you all know book one. You voted for it. Of course, you know there's a book two. There is a book three, Will to Survive. And I want to tell you all a little secret. Don't tell anybody. There's going to be a fourth book in the trilogy. I know that makes a, no sense. It's called Fourth Dimension. There. You're the first ones to have a look at it. Again, great thanks for selecting me, and my apologies for not being there. Keep reading. Hi. My name is Ruth Garnett, and I'm also one of the members of the Circa Willow Awards Board. And on behalf of Eric Walters, as you could see, he could not attend today, but thank you very much. We will make sure that he gets this award. Congratulations. We welcome Ruth Garnett, Leslie Goslin, Aaron Walton, and Donna Lindstrom to take the stage to make a presentation on behalf of the Willow Award Committee and Sask Energy. Thank you. Every year, the host of the Gala Awards is acknowledged in, in a lot of ways by the Willows Board. You people have done an amazing job of not only participating in the wards, but allowing the whole province to watch and to see what's happening today and who the winning books and authors are. In recognition of that, the Circa Board likes to present every year an actual live willow tree to the school that you can plant somewhere in your school yard and as it grows, and as you grow and come back year to year, you'll remember we got that tree because we hosted the Willow Awards. So I'm going to ask uh, Leslie to come forward and we would like to present this to the school. Good afternoon. On behalf of the SYRCA Willow Board, we would like to present McNeil Elementary School with a full set of the new 2016 um, Willow nominee books or finalist books for the Shining, Diamond, and Snow categories. Each of these 30 titles has a book plate inside that says Saskatchewan Young Reader's Choice. The Willow Awards presented this book to McNeil Elementary School with thanks for hosting the Sask Energy Willow Awards Gala, May 13, 2016. <laughs> also, just so you know where to find them in your library, there's a, a Willow Spine um, label that uh, is easy to recognize, so you can pull these books out at any time in your library. We would also like to present the school with a commemorative plaque that you can display as a reminder for your involvement with the gala and the SYRCA Willow Awards. And this plaque reads, The Saskatchewan Young Reader's Choice, the Willow Awards to McNeil Elementary School, Regina, Saskatchewan, host of the 14th Annual Sask Energy Willow Awards Gala, Friday, May 13th, 2016.
So we have a few of the uh, Willow Ambassadors up right now. Could we um, get Mrs. Gosling and uh, Mrs. Rue to come forward to accept these gifts and we'll take some pictures. There's a number of people that we want to thank today. We want to thank the McNeil staff, students, and community supporters for assistance in making the gal this gala possible at your school. So thank you very much. Give yourselves a hand. We want to give a special thanks to Stu Harris for managing the live streaming and recording of this gala live so students across the province can see it. Thank you very much. A big thank you to all of the McNeil Willow Ambassadors. We understand that you worked on projects throughout the year to promote the Willow finalist books. Your enthusiasm is much appreciated and definitely evident by the varied artistic presentations displayed this afternoon. So thank you very much. And now we'd like to call up Mrs. Brewer. There is so much planning that goes into making the gala a success. We would like to thank Mrs. Brewer for her hard work in promoting the Willow Award finalist books and for all the organization that went into this memorable gala. Please accept these flowers on, as a token of our appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank you to Miriam and Emily for accepting this willow tree on behalf of McNeil School. Also, another thank you goes out to Shay, Haley, and Luscious for accepting these books on behalf of our school. I know that lots of the students are looking forward to reading them. I will now hand the mic over to Mrs. Brewer for her closing remarks. Thank you. All right. Thank you all, especially to all of our students for not only reading the books, for voting on the books, and for creating responses to those books. Thank you for being such an excellent audience today. I do have a couple of thank yous, um, and then we will have our recess. So first off, I need to say some uh, names of sponsors and things that put on the Willow Awards, not only this year, but every year in the province. 
Uh, we have a, a lot of different companies and organizations that, that help us out. This year, this is the list of our sponsors and patrons. Evraz, Potash Corp, Sask Energy, HD, HJ Linen and Associates, Cameco, Sega, Book and Briar Patch, and United Library Service. We want to thank those for helping us put this on. Some organizations uh, that helped McNeil School put on the gala this year were Affinity Credit Union, our partner in education. Thank you very much to them. We also would like to thank Best Food Forward, who will be catering our reception for our special guests after this ceremony. And we'd also like to thank Unique Garden Center for the donation of the willow tree, which will be planted in our schoolyard. We have extra special thanks to both the McNeil School Community Council and the Twin Lakes Community Association, without whose help this gala would not have been the wonderful event that it is. They put in a lot of work and they've helped us immensely. Thank you, McNeil School Community Council, Twin Lakes Community Association. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank our Willow Ambassadors who brought their enthusiasm every single meeting we've had, who've promoted the books, and who worked tirelessly to help us out with our guests and our event today. I'd like everyone to please give them one extra special big round of applause. Thank you, Willow Ambassadors. Now, they have one last job. Willow Ambassadors, I need you to please escort our special guests to the library for our reception. Other students, we're going to exit the gym the same way we do after an